If you are watching this, you are 100% a chosen one. This isn't about superiority or comparison. It's a confirmation that you've embraced the calling for the journey towards the new earth and the 5D reality. You get to be the shining example for humanity. It's a privilege to be a chosen one. The activation of the light of Christ in your DNA signifies a conscious agreement to play a pivotal role as a guiding force and savior, aiding humanity in the transition to this new era. Your presence here is not accidental. It's a response to a higher calling. Acknowledging your chosen status affirms your alignment with the spiritual awakening that is sweeping across collective consciousness. This journey is not only personal, but also a collective endeavor to usher in a new phase of existence, characterized by harmony, enlightenment, and a deeper connection to the divine. What does it mean to be a chosen one? Being a chosen one often means not conforming to societal norms. While this may lead to discomfort within your family or social circles, it's about steering away from the old to create a new and improved reality, even if it challenges the status quo. From an early age, you sensed a distinction within yourself, a feeling of not quite fitting into the conventional mold. You are an old soul and a chosen one. You have lived out multiple lifetimes on Earth, accumulating a wealth of wisdom. The disparity in energy between your old soul and the younger souls surrounding you contributes to a sense of being different. Your purpose is to lead and pave the way for this new 5D reality. You are, in essence, a guide and a savior. While this might be misconstrued as egotism, it's essential to recognize that this is simply a part of the cyclical nature of existence. In another phase of existence, you might have been the one receiving guidance for a golden age. As a chosen one, you've often found yourself at odds with the norms of your family, embodying the archetype of the black sheep. Your choices deviate from the mainstream, and there's a lack of resonance with conventional practices. You now have to move away from old ways of being. Your purpose transcends the ordinary. It is about creating a new, harmonious reality on Earth, akin to creating heaven on Earth. It's natural for others to not fully understand or embrace this distinctive path, and that's okay. You are here to pave the way for a paradigm shift, rejecting the old ways and creating a new, harmonious existence on Earth. You have a specific purpose for being here, this specific purpose is to build something brand new, something the world hasn't seen before. The conventional path followed by others is not your route. As a chosen one, you inherently understand that the world is in need of a profound transformation. While recognizing that every occurrence unfolds for a reason, the present moment calls for substantial change. It is imperative to acknowledge your inherent worthiness, grounded in the wealth of information within you. This sense of worth is not arbitrary, but stems from the gifts and talents bestowed upon you, destined to be catalysts in the creation of new earth. A divine rapture is unfolding, propelling us out of the outdated 3D systems. The gates are open and your affirmative response is crucial. Understand that your specific purpose is to build something unprecedented, contributing to a world never seen before. Your role is to break away from conformity and forge a path independent of the conventional. You're about to create something new and unique, God has opened a path for you, and your acceptance is key to realizing your true potential. Know the power within you. You are working with God. People are looking up to you. They are waiting for you. You are worthy, equipped with gifts and talents anointed upon you. You can take in loads of knowledge and understand it. Some people don't have their DNA activated. Therefore, they may not understand what is happening. Because you're an old soul, you have higher DNA. You're able to take in more light frequency, and you're able to process and hold more information. Other people can't hear you because they can't take in as much frequency and light. All you must do now is say yes to what God is showing you for the new earth. People are looking at you and asking, how do we navigate this new earth? You're here to show people that there's a better way of doing things. You can be free now. You don't have to be a slave anymore. Being a chosen one involves embodying characteristics such as God consciousness, unconditional love, humility, sincerity, and authenticity. While it may require additional effort, the choice of a higher consciousness each day is fundamental. Self-reflection on your actions and ego status ensures you stay true to your purpose of embodying the light of Christ. These characteristics represent your alignment with higher principles and divine virtues. Embodying these qualities may require extra effort and commitment, 
but it is through this commitment that the true transformative power of your role as the Chosen One is realized. Making a conscious choice to embrace a higher consciousness every day becomes an important part of your spiritual journey. It involves making an effort to think, act and interact in a way that reflects the divine qualities within you. Self-reflection is a valuable tool in navigating this path. Regularly examining your actions and evaluating your ego helps you stay aligned with the purpose of being the chosen one to radiate and embody the light of Christ. This introspective process acts as a compass, guiding you on your spiritual journey and allowing you to make corrections when necessary while staying true to the path of enlightenment. Being the chosen one is not just a title, it requires active engagement with a higher calling and a commitment to go beyond the limitations of the ego. By cultivating God consciousness, unconditional love, humility, sincerity and authenticity, you become a vessel for divine light, illuminating not only your own path, but also the lives of those you touch on this profound spiritual journey. Step into your authentic self, knowing that what you give, what you put out into the world will return tenfold. Recognize the power within you, every day, see with your heart, not your eyes. Good things are going to keep on coming even though you don't know what they are. Trust the process. Many blessings and miracles are coming into your life. Start affirming and knowing these truths. Why do I have to work harder when everyone else seems to have it easy? The people who are still doing chaotic things in the world are not in service to God. They are still playing in the lower realms. They're stuck in 3D consciousness. It may look like they're having fun, that they're happy, but in reality they are sinking. You have to understand that your rewards will be greater. It's called eternal abundance. Not attaining more money in the matrix, but real abundance, real love and real healing. As a chosen one, you are a seer. Your heart sees more than your eyes. You have a feeling deep inside you that you are here for something different. You are here for something greater. You have to work harder. You have to choose a higher consciousness every day. You must ask yourself, am I being a good person? Am I being judgmental? Am I in my ego right now? You have to work on yourself every day. You came here to embody the light of Christ. You are the chosen one. You have a higher position. You must help others and show them the way and that starts by aligning yourself to love. You may even get people questioning and putting you down. Being a chosen one isn't easy. It can irritate some people as they can feel that you're a chosen one. They can feel there's something different about you. Some people want to persecute you. You have to not care what anyone thinks of you. You're doing everything completely differently. Some people might say you're doing this wrong. And why are you doing that? You shouldn't be doing that. Recognize that being a chosen one comes with challenges. Some may not understand your different approach, leading to potential persecution. However, maintaining faith and aligning with universal laws allows you to navigate these challenges confidently. As a chosen one, you are a natural-born healer, tasked with healing the earth and others. Your continuous affirmation and acceptance of your mission contribute to the ongoing clearing and purifying of energies, allowing you to fulfill your role in this transformative journey. Thank you so much for joining me on this incredible journey of self-discovery and ascension. If you've made it to this point in the video, it's no coincidence. You are indeed the chosen one, on a path to higher consciousness and the fifth dimension. I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude for your presence here. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. We are a community of seekers, explorers and light workers, united by the common purpose of awakening to our true selves. As we ascend together, let's spread love, compassion and positivity to all beings on this planet. Each one of us plays a unique and essential role in the grand tapestry of existence. Embrace your purpose with an open heart and a clear mind. Thank you again for being the amazing soul that you are. May your days be filled with love, light and boundless joy as you continue to ascend to the higher realms of existence. Until we meet again on this cosmic adventure, remember, you are the chosen one and the universe is conspiring in your favour.